3, 2, 1. Here go. Woo! Last time we tuned up this Giulia Quarifoglio. She used to have already more than 500 horsepower under the hood. Today we're going to check how much more she gained with the remapping. Do you know the traditional dyno? Forget it. We have an easy way. All we need is a long strip of road and what's better than an airport? She's not flying just yet, but you never know. Keep watching, because today it's all about adrenaline. If you enjoy our content, as usual, like and subscribe to our channel. Hi Tuners, here we are. As you remember, in the last episode, Ben borrowed this beauty. I'll link the video down below. Let's get started. Usually, to check the power in a car, you use a dyno measurement. That is the most common and reliable system. But there are a few downsides. First of all, you need a place that has a dyno, and not every garage is able to afford one. Then you need to consider that the car is static on the rollers, so you also need a cooling system. She's not moving, so everything is going to heat up very quickly. Then you need to think about the tires. After several dyno rounds, they get very hot, and you need to stop and wait a bit to let them cool down. Otherwise, you will destroy them. The vehicle needs to be set in dyno mode. You may ask, what's a dyno mode? It is a special mode that is used to test the car on the dyno. Why? Otherwise, the traction control system and other stability system will change the results. Sometimes it's easy to set it up, but in some cases you need an official diagnostic tool to get it done. This Julia, for example, has accelerometers and gyroscopes that will cut the power if she's not moving. So when the dyno mode is activated, these systems are being bypassed. But today we won't be doing all that. We have an easy and affordable method to measure the power and performances without the hassle. So Ben, do you know what device I'm talking about? Ben? <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. The dyno road. Yes. Here we go. This is Dyno Road. That's a dyno that can fit in your pocket. Let me explain what is this. Inside here you have a series of sensors like accelerometers, weather station and gyroscopes. You connect it to your phone and it calculates the similar results to the one you can obtain on a real dyno. Plus, you can use it like a GPS meter for drag races. This is what we're going to do today. Testing on a quarter, half and maybe one mile. 0 to 100, 100 to 200, and for the bravest, 200 to 300. But now, let's get to work. To install the device, you need to use the accessories in the kit and follow the instruction to position the dyno road on the wheel. Guys, a very important thing is to place it on the wheels that have no traction. Why? Because if the wheel spins, the results will be incorrect. It also needs to be on the driver's side, so the connection with the smartphone will be stronger. Make sure the device is centered with the wheel. Now we download the app connected via Bluetooth and we are ready to go. Before proceeding to the actual test, you must do the initial calibration. You have to use the same gear that you're going to use later. Another important point, this is a real life test. So the weights that you're logging have to be accurate. The dimension of the wheel and the type of gearbox are very important to get it right. To have a higher accuracy, I suggest you to do it on a higher gear. Four gears should be fine, but for now I'll do it on third gear. Everything depends on the strip of road you have available. This is the graph of the car when it used to be stock. Now she's tuned with a stage one. So let's start with the testing. Let's start with the automatic calibration. Let's bring the engine in a third gear up to 3000 RPM to calibrate. For five seconds. Okay. Let's confirm it. Okay, let's start. Bring it down to 1,500 RPM. And go! Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we bring it to the limit. And we press the clutch. And we let it go. 
Measuring the power. There you go. So we have the results. 548 horsepower. Now that we have done the power test, let's gather more information with the other functionality. Okay, let's do 0 to 100. I put it in race. Let's press start. Press start. Here you go. First gear. Here you go. Point six six. That's a very good result. Okay, I think zero two hundred. That was my best time. So let's do now 100, 200 kilometers. So here we go. Okay, let's start. Start to accelerate. Speed up up to two hundred. Okay, 9.87. That could be better, but let's go firmer for now. Okay, he's waiting for me to stop. Once we're at zero, he's gonna start. I'm already in launch mode. We are ready to go. And I'm gonna stop. Put in first gear. Three, two, one. Here we go. Okay, this highway is two kilometers long, so I will not dare to do one mile here. I will not have time to break. For now, I will do half a mile, so let's do it. Race mode, first gear, here we go. Start whenever you're ready. Begin to accelerate now. Confirm it, 19.61. Wow, that was exciting. So now let's check the results. This is our chart from today. The Julia reached 548 horsepower at 6,730 RPM with a torque of 758 Newton meter at 3,026 RPM. We can now compare it with the one we did when the car was stock and even at a glance, you can definitely see a huge increase. She gained 42 horsepower, reaching the maximum power earlier at 6,737 RPM. Not to mention the torque gain of 168 Nm with a very steep curve because she reached the max torque at 3,326. You can definitely feel it while driving. Is it hard to keep her steady on the road? On the performance side, Alfa Romeo declared 0 to 100 in 3.9 seconds, but I did it in 466. 100 to 100 in 987, a quarter of a mile in 1229, and half a mile in 1961. This data depends a lot on who is driving the car. In my case, the car is a manual shift, and I'm not really Dominic Toretto. Let me also just show you the Dynero web base platform, where you can save your runs, check and compare them so you can access them from an online device wherever and whenever you want. Okay, Ben, let's map the car back to stock. Wait, wait. I know this sound. Don't do anything just yet. I think that's the challenge. 